welcome back to another video. So today I am doing a Christmas nail art design. Obviously, as you can tell by the title and the picture and the intro, because obviously when it's a Christmas video, I have my little Christmassy intro. So I'm just going to quickly go through what I'm going to be using within the set first, um, just so we can get that out of the way so we can get going with the set. Um, some of it is going to be like, you'll watch me do it like as I'm doing it, and then some of it will be... I'll have to voice over because I'll probably speed it up a little bit. So here we are. We're going in with Scarlet, uh, which is a nice red glitter from Magpie. Obviously, you can use whatever red glitter you like. And then I'm going in with this iridescent glitter from Tears, which is called Aurora. And this is the fine one. Then I'm using Bella Rouge, which is a Magpie gel colour. It's just a bright red. And then Plain Jane, which is their white. And then I've got the red red and white gel paints as well. So I might end up picking other bits and bobs throughout the set. But if I do, obviously, I will let you know. So first of all, I'm going to go over what I'm going to be doing. So first of all, I am going to get my glitter nails out of the way. Um, just because they're going to make a mess and mess stresses me out so i'm going to go ahead and do that first this is how i apply glitter for this type of effect so i'm just going to make sure that i've got my glitter ready and that the lid is off i am going to get my um mine's gone blank how it's called this oh glitter holder i don't know why that was so difficult I'm just getting my glitter holder out just to pop my magpie glitter in there obviously the tears ones are too large for this but because they're short and wider they're a lot actually quite a lot easier to use they don't get all over the place and there's less of a risk of you knocking it over because they're like that so i'm going to go in with a coat of bella rouge on this one so i'm going to be having two glitter nails um one of i would have if i was in shot wouldn't it really um I'm going to be having two full glitter nails, like literally just plain full glitter, um, one of each colour. So one of the red and then one with the iridescent over uh, white. So I'm doing a coat of red on here and then I am going to sprinkle the glitter over the top. So just, oh, that's something on the floor already and I've only been started two seconds. So anyway, I'm going in with this glitter. So I'm just going to get a triangle underneath to try and catch any excess. I'm just going to take this out of the stand. And then I'm just going to go, I'm actually just going to put that in the triangle because I'm going to end up just getting it all over my hands if not. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle this straight over the top. Apologies for the noise in the background. My mum is making dinner, bless her. So just going in with that, making sure that I have got it everywhere. And I'm just going to tip it upside down, get off all the excess. Obviously, you can't do this with a client. <laughs> so it's not quite as easy to get off all the bits of extra when it's actually on a finger. But there we go. Make the most of these. So that's that one. I'm going to pop that into the lamp. Let's just show what it looks like. Hopefully it will. There we go. It's a beautiful Christmas red, this one is. So I'm just going to pop that into the lamp and then that glitter will set onto the nail. Okay, so I've just got rid of that and popped the lid on it just so I don't have any accidents. I'm just now going to go in with my white. So I'm popping a coat of that on this nail. Now, luckily, Magpie's white is very white, so I can get away with doing just one coat of it. If your white isn't a great coverage white, then I'd go ahead with two. So just do the top, do the first one, and then cure that. Um, and then go ahead and apply another one, and then obviously do this stage onto that layer. But luckily, this one is fab, so we can just go straight in on this one. So once I've done that, I'm just going to pick it up again, flip it upside down. Give it a little tap and then I'm going to check both sides just to make sure that there is enough coverage all over and I haven't got any bits missing. Obviously the whole point of having the, um, the colour underneath is that it's very similar to the glitter so if there is any small areas that have been missed it's not a huge deal because the colour is there 
to fill in any gaps but that's that one it's very very wintry like icy kind of a vibe anyway so i'm going to pop that into the lamp now okay so the next stage for my red nail is to just brush off any excess i'm just using a magpie duster brush for this to make sure that there is nothing left on there now this design i am actually just going to be leaving it like this i'm not going to be um top coating it i am just going to leave it nice and rough because obviously it's not on a client's nail so it's not going to be bugging anybody i'm just going to leave it like that i might change my mind at the end but for now i'm quite happy so i'm going to go ahead and start my actual design nails now so i need one that's going to be full white preferably minus the hair <laughs> is it just me or is it always a hair to get in the way like oh god honestly bane of my life is hair and dust where does it even come from honestly Anyway, so we've got one coat of white on this nail. The next one is going to be red nail. So I'm going to go ahead and paint a coat of that. So I'll be doing two coats of colour on each nail. So obviously I'm only going to film doing the one just because you're not going to want to keep watching me do the same thing. So I will do the other one off camera, but I just wanted to make sure that you know that I am doing two coats. So next I'm going in with a nude. Well, no, it's not a nude. I've changed my mind since um, decided on the nude, I forgot. I'm going to be using Come What May. I didn't put this in the original um, thing at the start, so apologies for that. But basically, I just need a little wash of pink. Um, I don't want it too pink pink because I'm going to be putting a shade of pink over the top slightly, so I don't want it to be too much. I'm just going to go in with Come What May and just to get that little hint of pink, not a full blown pink nude like nail. So I'm gonna put that in the lamp now just to cure all of those. And then I will come back when I've done the second coat of every color. Okay, so I'm just going in with my red that I'm using, which is Bella Rouge. And I'm just popping this on the top, probably about a third of the nail. Um, I've never been any good at fractions <laughs> so top third and I'm just putting that red on and then I've just cured that um, and then done a second coat of it as well so I'm just going in now with my white gel paint obviously you can use gel polish for this I just like gel paint because it's thicker it's better coverage and I don't know I just find it a lot easier to use as well because of the thicker consistency so that's that's why I use it so I've just gone in with my um, I can't remember what that brush is called actually but it's one from magpie might be the illustrator i think i'm not sure but i'm going to use a dotting tool now just to put some down the sides just some quick dots and then i want to get a larger dotting tool to do some dots at the bottom of the well the top of the white i was going to say bottom of the red but i think i'll do that bit next um so i'm just doing that little bit there just to make it a little bit rougher um just to make it look more realistic as a beard instead of really neat lines and now I'm going in with a slightly larger dotting tool and just doing the top. So it looks like the fluffy bit of the surrounding outside bit of the hat. So I'm just popping that there and then all that's left to do is just pop some eyes and a nose on, which is obviously quite simple. So it's just about dot work really for this design. It's really, really easy, which is why I wanted to put this video together because... Not only are some people not able to do really advanced work, some people don't want to, like me. <laughs> so I like little designs like this and just think they look really, really cute and they're super, super easy. So I like to do beginners, beginners videos. So I'm just popping a top coat on this and that is that one done. And then next we're going on to a quick bow. I should have redone the bow really because I wasn't overly happy with it because I could have done it a bit bigger for how big the nail was, but oh well you get the gist of how to do it anyway so obviously if you want it larger you just do the same but do it on a bigger scale so here i'm just drawing well painting a straight line down the middle of the nail um i have seen straight lines been done differently by different people i prefer to do the top and bottom first and then sort of fill the middle in with a really faint line and then go over properly when my brush is full of gel polish um just because when there's a bit of gel there, it tends to flow a bit easier when it comes to doing the proper line. And then I'm just doing the one going across as well. 
So I did flash cure the one down the middle just for 10 seconds, just so when I did this bit, the little bit in the middle that crosses over didn't go all bulky. Um, it didn't really matter if it would because I was I was adding a rhinestone at the end anyway, but you know. So I've just marked out where I want my bow to end. I wish I'd made it bigger, but you know, the process is the same, so it's fine. So here I'm just doing the same again and then because I'm going to be putting some glitter on top of this bow I did cure the cross itself first like the one going down and the one horizontal I did cure those lines fully because this brand of gel paint which is Magpie doesn't have a tacky layer so I know that the glitter will not stick to that Um, so I'm just doing this bit slightly thicker just because I want the glitter to really really settle onto um, the white so I'm just tapping April over the top now because it's very similar to the glitter that I used at the beginning for the full nail it's got the same undertones and everything like the bluey tones but it's really really fine so it's good for this sort of work just pop in a stone in the middle I just wanted to make sure that I've got the same sort of the right sort of uh, size and then I just top coated that one this one is like a candy cane effect nail, so I'm just going in with some thick lines, some slightly thinner lines, and then thin, thin lines, um, just to get the overall effect of a candy cane, because obviously not all of the red lines on a candy cane are the same size. So first of all, I go in with the thicker ones, just mainly because they're easier, and I'm going to use a different brush to do the thinner ones as well. Um, so I'm just using this brush first, and then I can clean this one off and then use my other one. Okay, so when I've finished off just making sure that that's all how I want it and everything, I will then go in with my Magpie Striper brush, which is a really, really fine detail liner brush, which I really, really like. And I'm going to go in and do the thinner lines. I think I did three thin ones, maybe two. I can't quite remember now because I'm doing the voiceover for this a few days later. But yeah, I'm just going in with this brush because it makes it really, really easy to do thin lines. So I spent way too much time on this one, clearly. <laughs> but anyway, that's this set finished when this is done. I really hope you enjoyed it. I can't believe we're at the point of doing Christmas nails already. I mean, am I British if I don't say I can't believe it's November already? <laughs> um, so yeah, here's a first Christmas nail art video. There'll be many more to come, a couple over December. Probably won't do a major amount because, I don't know, Christmas is sort of for one time of year only. So it's only really going to be useful for people around now. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I've left a little, obviously, clip in um, for you to see how they all came out next to each other. I did end up going over and top coating those two full glitter nails because I didn't really like the fact that they were the sugared effect and everything else was shiny. So I did go over and do that. Thank you so, so much for watching, as always. There's a couple of pictures at the end just for you to have a look at some snippets. Hope you enjoyed it and you find it easy. If you do do it, then please, please message me on Instagram, and send me a photo or tag me on Instagram or anything like that. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back really, really soon. Bye.